everyone. Welcome to the ordinary gift. Today I will be showing you guys how to change the colors of objects in Adobe Photoshop. This is an this is a very easy method using Adobe Photoshop. But before we go further, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and put on your notifications and also like and share these videos to your friends. So let's begin. So for starters, we're going to be changing the color um, of this car. Right here, we have a yellow car and I would like to change the color of this car to something else. Uh, let's take note that in the background, we also have all the different uh, things. We have the environment, we have the road, but we want to pick out just this car and change the color of it. So to do that, let's launch, let's open our image in Adobe Photoshop. So we're going to be doing it the usual way. We right click on the image and open with Adobe Photoshop. So we are in our Adobe Photoshop. Please note that this method is so easy that it takes even less than a minute to, to do. So our image is open in Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to zoom in. Zoom in. So this is our yellow car. You can see in the background, there are other colors. So to change this, the first thing you should do, come to your toolbar on the left hand side and select the the object selection tool. If you look, you will see we have the object selection tool, quick selection tool, and magic wand tool. But what I want is the object selection tool. Now with the object selection tool, you can pick out various uh, parts of this um, picture. So if I highlight this object selection tool on the car, you can see how it picks out the car. It can even pick out the color of the road you can pick out this car, these vehicles in the distance. But what I want to change is just this particular um, vehicle. I want to change the color, let it not be yellow. I don't like it the yellow. So now I've highlighted it, I'm going to select it. You see, after I selected it, you can see uh, a selection frame all over the car. So we want to bring out this car. We want this car to be on its own layer. So what do we do? On your keyboard, press Ctrl J or Ctrl plus J. For those of you using Mac, um, there is no control on your keyboard. So you use the command key by your, on your keyboard, you press Command plus J. So for Windows users, I'm using Windows. So we're going to be using Ctrl plus J. So Ctrl plus J. So you can see a new layer has been formed, layer one. So let's put up this background layer. You can see the car is standing alone, but let's put it back on. So I can choose to call this layer one as car. You can leave it, you can call it car. I just want to call it car. So to change the color here, we're going to bring out our hue and saturation feature. So to bring out the hue and saturation feature or function on your keyboard again, press control, plus U. Uh, Mac users, you use command plus U. So control plus U for Windows users. Now we have the hue and saturation feature. So here you will see master. Switch over to magentas. Click on the drop down and go to magentas. You must go to magentas. So you are going to use the color picker to pick the color what you want to change. Remember, I want to change the color of the yellow to something else, not the black. You can see the car has black, another color. I don't want to change the color of the black. I want to change the color of the yellow. So on well, my yellow, you can see there are some places that are lighter and there are some places that are darker. So you can pick one or you can pick the two, but I will be picking two for this um, for the purpose of this video. So I will pick this one. Let me pick it again. Now to pick another one, you come here, select this plus uh, color um, picker plus sign to add another color to the sample. Now we have two colors. We have a lighter yellow and a darker yellow. So we'll come down here, we'll come up here under hue and we'll adjust 
this to whatever color we want. So you can see, I can change it to blue. I can change it to whatever color. I can change it to purple, red. Remember the original orange. Remember the original color was a yellow. So, but I'm moving on to something else. Can leave it as green. You can see that the color is changing. The car color is changing, but every other color in the background remains the same. So, because I'm only changing, I chose, I picked only the car. I chose to change the color, only the color of the car. So this is just basically the method of changing uh, the color of an object using Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to okay. And then let me just save this. Let me save this. So let's compare what we have done with what we had previously. Now this is the picture of the preview of the car initially. Now this is what we just done. You can see. what we had previously and what we have just done from yellow to green and preserving the details of every other thing in the background we only just change the color of the car so to make you understand this properly let's use another picture to explain this so right here i have the pic i have a picture of apples i'm using this picture because this color is not the color of a fresh apple. I would like to change this apple. I want to make it look fresh. I want to pretend it's a fresh apple. I want to change the color. You know, a fresh apple has a more greenish color, but this is already, it looks like what is already getting bad. So we're going to be changing this and we're going to make it look like it's a fresh apple. We will also change one of these apple in the background and maybe the, so one of these apple in the bag. I'm going to be changing three apples here just to show you. It's so easy to change the color of anything you want using Adobe Photoshop. So open this image in Adobe Photoshop again. So this is it. I'm going to be zooming in. So just the way we did the first one, you come to your object selection to again and you select whatever you want. You can see that as I highlight my um, object selection to cursor on the object, the various object, the colors are changing. So what I want is this one. I want to change this one first. So I'm going to select it after selection remember we have to bring the layer we have to separate the layer from the background and i told you you use Control plus j so let's call this apple one since i'll be changing more than one apple let me call this apple one so you bring out your hue and saturation if you can remember to do that is Control plus u Come down here on that master you change to magentas so let's play around with this color no, no, let's pick the color we want to change remember this is what we selected so we are going to pick the color we want to change so we're going, i'm going to be picking this so play around it see i can change this apple to a red color but i would like to i would like it to be green so let's move forward, not too green, but looking natural, looking like a natural apple. So I'm going to leave it as this. So that's for that. Then again, I will be picking, this is the first one we have, we have successfully changed the color of this one, of this, of this first apple. Um, to look like a fresh apple. So at the back here, I can see that there are other ones looking on fresh. So I'm going to be changing their colors also. So let's come back to our background. Remember, we're still on Apple One layer. I don't want to do anything with Apple One layer again because I've already changed the color. So we'll go back to background and then we'll go to our object selection tool one more time. 
Mm, not one more time. So let's compare what we have done with what we previously had. This is the picture, the original picture. This is the original picture. You can see the color of the apple. Mm, you wouldn't want to eat this. And this is the picture of what we have worked on. You can see the difference. Oh, let me make this big. Look at this and look at this. Oh, be truthful. Who should you want to eat? So this is it. And then uh, the background, you can see the one in the bag is red and the one in the here is somehow yellowish. So that's it. Now well, with Adobe Photoshop, this easy method of changing colors can enable you just change things, change the color of things. Okay, so that's that. Um, that should be the end of the tutorial, but just to show you one more method, I'm going to be using this um, picture. I'll be changing the color of this. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I'll be opening it in opening this picture in Adobe Photoshop. Now this person here is lifting up a yellow radio. I want to change the color of the radio. So let's check out what we've done. Here we have the original photo. And here we have the color, the changed photo. Here is holding a white radio. You see, you can't even tell. There's no uh, trace of the yellow. And here you have the one, the original photo with the yeah so thank you for watching this video um please do well to subscribe to the, the ordinary gift youtube channel subscribe to this channel put on your notifications and please 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 like and share this video so i'll be seeing you on the next one